Tomorrow should be the very last weekday commute this summer without the Sumner Tunnel because Governor Healy says it will reopen this Friday before the morning rush hour. This is what it looks like, looking pretty good. Tonight, WBZ's Brandon Truitt gives us a fresh look inside the updated tunnel. Well, it has been the summer of detours here for drivers. Some people tell me their commutes have tripled in time, and that's expected to ease a bit on Friday. It's wildly crazy because you never know what you're going to get. Bevan Baker has had a heck of a summer. She drives from Quincy to East Boston daily to check on her mother, and it's been a test of brake pads and patience. It's hours, and then you don't even know what roads are closed and what's open. It's a, it's a mystery even getting back into the Ted Williams Tunnel. It's been a mess. Normally something that would be like a 15-minute drive without traffic would be over an hour drive and very unpredictable. That's all set to change Friday when the Sumner Tunnel opens for the first time in two months. This is on time and in time for our upcoming Labor Day weekend. Governor Maura Healy touring the tunnel Wednesday, seeing the lights, the pipes, and the ceiling significantly improve structurally. The state saying the goal was to extend the life of the tunnel by at least 50 years. Well, I know aggravating, no doubt, uh, to be without the tunnel for a couple months absolutely essential, absolutely uh, imperative. The end of construction means the return of fares for Blue Line riders. It's been free as an incentive for commuters to ditch the drive. According to MBTA data, an average of 48,000 people rode the Blue Line daily this month, and they will all have to start paying again Friday morning. Yeah, I feel like it was running the best it was when it was free. It seemed pretty efficient and smooth running, so... A little disappointed we got to pay again. Do I really want to go to the office now that I have to pay, right? Um, but it's been a great benefit. And the governor says that the tunnel will open by 5 a.m. on Friday at the latest. But the work isn't done there. MassDOT says they have eight weekends of closures planned for the rest of the year. And then they'll do the same thing all over again next summer, closing it for two months. In East Boston, Brandon True at WBZ News. Wow, far from the finish line, but making progress. Brandon, thank you.